President Biden oversees at a key summit of world leaders in Europe. The president set to meet with Pope Francis later this morning, and this follows a major security agreement with Ukraine. Our senior White House correspondent, Selena Wang, joins us now from Italy with the latest. Selena, good morning. Hey, Wick, good morning. President Biden is rolling out several historic deals while here at the G7 summit in Italy. Overnight, the president and Ukraine's President Zelensky signed an agreement to boost Ukraine's defenses for 10 years. It brings Ukraine closer to NATO and it sends a stark message to Russia's Vladimir Putin. The U.S. and its allies also agreeing to loan Ukraine $50 billion backed by profits from frozen Russian assets. But looming over this entire summit is the possibility of a Trump presidency, with Zelensky questioning how long will the unity last? Then wit later today, the president will be meeting with Pope Francis. They last met in 2021. The president is a practicing Catholic. They've got a warm relationship. They're planning to discuss Ukraine, the war in Gaza, and artificial intelligence. The pope, he's been very outspoken about the dangers of AI and urging global leaders to use the technology to serve humanity. And, and Selena, the president also made some news about his son Hunter's felony gun conviction. Yeah, wait, that's right. I asked the president if he would commute his son's sentence. The president answered no. Wait, that means the president would not reduce his son's punishment. The president saying he would abide by the jury decision. Wait. All right, Selena, thank you so much.